I played golf as a kid. I was a caddy. I wasn't a country club kid. A guy told me that when you're gripping the club, it should be like holding a bird. You have to hold it so you don't crush it, but hold it tight enough so it doesn't fly away. It applies off the bike and on the bike equally. If I can just get my riding into gear, I can, I can take on way more than I can in real life. I look at it like all the rest is real life. To Rose City before me, I'm sorry I can't travel above. I've never really had a real job. I've been a bartender, carpenter, and courier, and I had done music. It was the indie scene, and someone saw us, and we put a record out, and we got radio play. But, you know, I did it for a few years, and we, we discontinued. It's just so much as chemistry, and I needed that chemistry. So I looked at the paper, and it was a job for bike messenger. I had nothing to do with bikes, you know. I wasn't like a hipster kid on a track bike. I wasn't like anything. All those years of working jobs, I never even worked a nine to five. I realized on Sunday night, I was like, oh, cool. You know, I get to go ride my bike. You know, I started just getting into cycling big time. And I wanted to do something, something that resonates you internally, that, you know, that, that pushes you, that moves you that takes you a little bit outside of yourself. Adventure is, is everywhere, but how do we get into it? How do we get the adventure? How do we find the adventure? Then I got the barn. We didn't have a name, so Lost River sounds like intrigue, you know? So I said, let's call it Lost River Barn. Every weekend I would race one day and come up here to work. You know, I just wanted to get it to where people could come here and start training. Just kind of have something with a little more flavor. It just required all kinds of work. That's, that's where when I punched the first clock, you know, the first imaginary clock of my life. It's the fortune that I, I have these two things that, that totally complement each other in such a big way. It's just energizing for me to have that balance, that blunt contrast of texture and color, the mountains and the city. I know that what the two are, and their, their values become even more distinct, and you appreciate them more. But the thing that I get out of it is that's all that elusive stuff. You know, be centered, be balanced, find adventure. Everybody talks about being in the moment. And, you can only be in the moment sometimes. You have, to, you have to just chance into the moment, and then when you're there, hopefully you don't get conscious of it and take yourself out. It's like not holding the bird too tight. That's a good one, by the way.